So not only is this like taking a hit of acid and watching the Grateful Dead for the first time and seeing the eye of God in a guitar solo. <laughs> Boing Boing TV. I'm Shinny Jardin and I'm here with an iPhone and David is an expert in how to unlock and jailbreak your iPhone. David, first of all, I think a lot of people wonder if this is like illegal or if it's going to void their warranty. Well, it kind of voids your warranty with Apple, but the thing is you can restore your iPhone completely if you ever do any of this hacking and then your iPhone looks back to factory settings. What exactly is jailbreaking or unlocking the iPhone and, and why would somebody want to do that? I mean, this device certainly has a lot of functionality right now. A lot of people are very happy with it as it is. Why unlock it? Jailbreaking is opening your iPhone up to all kinds of new abilities that it never could do before, such as adding new applications to it, browsing the file system, the list goes on. So let's say if you're in an area overseas where there isn't uh, an official partner yet, you could just get onto another network. Yeah, you could buy one of those pays you go cards and just pop into your iPhone and then you're good to go. Okay, so I'm here with Damien Stolars, who's another co-author of iPhone Hacks. Damien, you have my phone. What are you going to do with it? Well, I'm going to jailbreak it. It started out very complicated, but these days, uh, if you've ever heard of a script kitty, uh, hacking your iPhone has is, is gotten to script kitty simplicity. I'm going to run a program and click unlock. So even an obnoxious, unskilled troll could unlock an iPhone. That's what you're telling me? Absolutely. There's two parts to your phone. There's the phone part and the the computer part. Uh -oh. Unlocking the computer part allows you to add new programs. Unlocking the phone part allows you to use it on T-Mobile, allows you to use it in Europe with a different SIM card. Do you want both? We'd like to show the audience how to do both. Okay, great. To do both, you simply click both buttons. For instance, in iLiberty, you just click all the buttons and you say, go ahead. So what is iLiberty doing to my phone right now? It's getting onto the software and jailbreaking it, releasing your phone from its jail so that it can add new programs. Then it's going to add a program called Installer that allows you to install new programs on the iPhone. And then finally, uh, it's going to do what's called uh, SIM unlocking. So now your phone does the normal thing that every other phone does, which is when you're roaming in different countries, you can put in different SIM cards. So basically, if I do this and then I figure out that I'm uncomfortable with how this changed my phone, I could go back and erase everything that you did. Absolutely. And in fact, if you want to go to the ge genius bar instead of the evil genius bar, which we are, um, you would need to, you know, take your phone back a few steps, basically erase it, uh, you know, take the tabs back out of its mind, sort of rewind montage, if you will, the whole experience, and then put it back to its, it's called virginizing it, take it back to its virgin state. Now, to play devil's advocate here at the Evil Genius Bar for a moment. I don't advocate the devil, but go on. <laughs> Why is it uh, that Apple makes these iPhones so that they can't so easily be modified? What What's the argument on that side, and, and why are you going against that? Well, Jobs actually said he admires the creativity of this audience, and he was very uh, coin, tongue in cheek in an interview. I mean, Jobs has no problem with people coming up with new applications. In fact, it was so inspirational, that, and it led a lot of how they're going about it. There is a whole class of people who want a very safe and sane, I take my VW to the dealer, I don't know what's under the hood, and Apple caters to that audience. So to the one end, they just want to discourage people from using their phones in a way that will cause them uncomfortable experiences when their mind isn't open to that sort of thing, to use this analogy we've been using. You have to be ready to trip. Yeah, yeah. And the other part is uh, on the AT&T side, um, they have a financial arrangement with AT&T. So initially before... So they have a dealer. They have a dealer exactly, who supplies them. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like big pharma versus homegrown. Yeah. But if you look, here's some of the featured applications. There's an Etch-a-Sketch program. Uh, there's Tap Tap Revolution, a game. There's uh, wikis. Uh, you can change the wallpaper on your phone. What are some of your favorite apps to run on a jailbroken iPhone? Favorite jailbroken apps. One of them is tethering your iPhone, basically using your edge connection on your iPhone to power your computer's internet connection so you can be sitting at the beach where there's no Wi-Fi around and be surfing the web. So let's say instead of a lot of people are using like EVDO cards that might cost 50 or $60 a month for a wireless internet connection, you could just use your iPhone's internet connection. Yeah, you're already paying $60 a month for the base plan for unlimited data connection, so uh, why not use that to power your laptop? As for other applications that you get with jailbroken phones, you can browse your file system on your iPhone over a network 
which is kind of cool. So you can drag and drop your files from your computer into your iPhone. Your iPhone doesn't even need to be connected via the USB cable. I got a really simple way to uh, get DVDs put onto your iPhone too. So you can just watch those from there. It's all covered in our book and our media and data chapter. So when is your book coming out? Comes out in a couple months. And the name of the book? The name of the book is iPhone Hacks. Cool. <laughs> iPhone Hacks, and that's going to be out through O'Reilly. And they want you to get your amphetamines, let's say, from, from the Ritalin dealer instead of going and getting them from a meth lab in Valencia. And you're selling us meth. No, I'm giving it away for free.